out there. So the difference between the invisible dragon and what we're calling God is the difference, again, I'm, I'm having to say we're, we're taking our arguments for granted because we're not discussing does God exist, we're saying there's evil evidence against God. But our arguments, if they're sound, offer positive reasons for believing in God, whereas there's no positive reasons like footprints or destroyed things by fire in the garage for the dragon. There's no evidence or the lack of evidence for the dragon, whereas if we're right, we're saying there is actually positive evidence for the existence of God. Like what? Not, without devolving into a debate on the existence of God as such, um, we would say not only is God not needed for the equation, the equation being, I guess, the universe and what we're talking about, there wouldn't be an equation because the universe is, as we understand it and can see it in, through experience, which can be measured and, and seen directly, is that the universe is changing, it's finite, it's material, changeable, and uh, contingent. So anything that's contingent and doesn't have to, cannot account for its own existence would have to have its cause of existence by something else, and it can't go on forever. Okay, so I don't want to devolve it. If you want to respond to that, then we can. But this is the difference between not having any evidence for a dragon and having positive evidence for God.